Hi, my name is Matt Duff and today we're going to talk about how to measure the tiny signal that the thermocouple generates. So <clears throat> as we discussed last time, this signal that the thermocouple generates is quite small. So for example, for a, a K-type thermocouple, you're only going to get about 40 microvolts per degree C there. So you really need to apply a lot of gain to the signal to have uh, a voltage that an ADC can easily uh, digitize. So what we're going to do is what we're going we're to add an instrumentation amplifier here. And we'll put this instrumentation amplifier in a fairly high gain, let's say a gain of 100, so that we can really magnify this tiny signal into something for the ADC. And the reason that we use an instrumentation amplifier instead of, say, an op amp is that it gives us uh, differential uh, magnification capability. So there may be, we may pick up some common mode noise on this thermocouple, and if we just measured single-ended, that common mode noise would contribute to our signal and it would be hard to distinguish this tiny signal. But by using an instrumentation amplifier, it will reject, it has good common mode rejection, and it will reject that common mode signal so we can only focus on the signal we care about, which is this differential signal from the thermocouple. Another nice advantage of an instrumentation amplifier versus something, say, like a difference amplifier is that it has very high input impedance, low input bias currents, and that's going to be helpful because later in later sessions where you may add a few things in between here, uh, and so by having this high input impedance, we don't have to worry about the effect that this instrumentation amplifier has on those measurements. Then our, uh, <clears throat> some parts, you can use a wide variety of instrumentation amplifiers here. Uh, some parts that I might recommend, we have a new part that we've just announced called the AD8420, which would be great for uh, measuring thermocouples. Uh, we actually have a, a line of parts called the AD8494 through 97, which are specifically designed to measure thermocouples and that they include both the instrumentation amplifier and the temperature sensor capability. Uh, and then you don't have to use a standalone instrumentation amplifier. You can use an instrumentation amplifier in a sigma delta converter. So for example, we have a line of parts called the AD779X, uh, which include both the instrumentation amplifier and the sigma delta converter. Now, uh, one thing when you're using an instrumentation amplifier is you need to be careful that the common mode range uh, of your signal actually stays in the range of your instrumentation amplifier and that's what we're going to cover in the next session.